Hello everybody, it's me Robin from Arvin of Solutions. One of client from Fiverr contacted with me. He can't log into his WordPress dashboard. He had contacted with uh, three developers before, but no one can uh, fix this issue. So he contacted with me to resolve the issue. So the issue is he can't log in his uh, WordPress dashboard backend. So if you try to uh, log in your uh, his WordPress dashboard, let's see what's happening. So his website URL slash WP admin, and then you can see here WordPress database already up to date. This is not English uh, language, so in English this will be no required update. WordPress database is already up to date you can't log in to this WordPress dashboard so how you can fix this I am going to show you a proper guideline in this tutorial so you can see here dashboard bar okay but from here if you click on dashboard then you won't be able to go back to WordPress dashboard every time showing this uh, message so how you can fix it this is really very easy process so we have to uh, going uh, we have to follow some steps our client don't have cpanel access he uh, sent me ftp server access so i am going to opening filezilla so click on filezilla and then here is uh, some here need to put uh, credentials host username password port so i am going to sorry i am going to put the credentials the client sent me this is our username then copy the password and paste here and port is 21 then you have to click on quick connect if you are using ftp server file zilla you can uh, download from google so you have to press ok maybe it may take 30 seconds to one minute to connect it with uh, the server so you can see here a message successful that means successfully ftp server is connected with my server or with my website so here you can see websites folder so you have to double click on here to enter inside of this uh, folder so it may uh, take some moments and then again you have to double click on WP content so double click and again may you may wait some moment and then when you scroll down you will see here a object dash case dot PSP so just rename of this case file so suppose uh, i am going to add backup or back or delete anything just rename this file and then see the magic now go back to your wordpress dashboard and then try to log in on your website and then you will see it's working perfectly so i have already logged into my wordpress dashboard if you are facing this type of issue i think this is uh, this video is very very helpful for you please make sure you have subscribed to our channel because we are going to create more useful tutorials in future thank you